Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. When James Hamilton did his report into Nicola Sturgeon's behaviour uh, and uh, the things that she did, her actions and whatever, uh, over the Alex Salmond affair, and uh, it all had to go off to see if she'd broken ministerial code and everything, and he came back, and it was decided she hadn't broken the code. But he still had this report. And uh, he was asked to publish it and said, well, I have to publish it in line with government rules. And so the uh, the information went in, the request went in, can you please publish it? And they published it. But it was massively redacted. There was stuff taken out left, right and centre because they don't want anyone to know the truth. Because they know that the truth would destroy them. And this was wrong. And so they went to court and they tried to get the court to say it must be released. And the court said yes it must be released and they spent £30,000 of public money trying to cover it up uh, and the judges at the court session just went no nope, release it bang straight away must be released and so another freedom of information request went in and they released it again with exactly the same redactions they haven't removed a single one surely now this is verging on contempt of court Anyway, action is now being taken and the Information Commissioner is looking again at what is going on. Here goes. Now we have to ask, what has Nippy done that's so bad that even after the Court of Session says release this information, they're still refusing to do so? Why are they covering it up? Why are they hiding it? What is so appallingly bad? Personally, I think it could be several things, but... My favourite, my favourite is possibly that it will come down to the fact that she engineered the whole thing. That it was her, perhaps, who who engineered it for these women to make these claims so that she could oust him and take over. Uh, and, you know, as part of her plan to become Queen Nicola I of Scotland. What an obnoxious thought that is. Anyway, new secrecy battle over Nicola Sturgeon report as key details are still redacted despite a court defeat and the court defeat if you remember if you cast your mind back was so fast so swift and so astonishingly clear that even the uh, the SNP's um, defense or the, the SNP's brief was astounded by it because they didn't even sort of go away it would judge Lee Huddle they just went no bang done seconds it was something like three seconds and they, they went no it's got to be released that was it um, and they weren't prepared for that. And of course, they still haven't released it. Uh, after ministers refused to lift the, redact uh, lift the redactions from even one single word from James Hamilton's report, the Scottish Information Commissioner has now been asked to review yet again whether freedom of information law is being complied with. Personally, I don't know why James Hamilton just doesn't leak it and just say, oh, well, I don't know, it come out and let the press have it. Then it's out in the public domain. There's nothing they can do then, is there? Uh, the Scottish Government is facing new secrecy battles after refusing to publish any new details from the infamous report into whether Nicola Sturgeon had broken ministerial code, despite the defeat at the Court of Session. James Hamilton said that the former First Minister had given an incomplete narrative of events to MSPs investigating the handling of sexual misconduct allegations against her predecessor, Alex Salmond. He was later cleared of all charges in court and the Scottish Government's internal probe was indeed found to be biased at the surprise of absolutely no one. And as I say, I think genuinely the, the only reason they're covering this up, that it can be, is perhaps that she instigated the whole thing. There's, there's nothing else that springs out like that. I mean... What else could it possibly be? I mean, you know, I, I, you, you couldn't put it past her. You know, we all know what she's like. Anyway, because Miss Sturgeon had not deliberately misled MSPs, most notably she told them she'd completely forgotten about a key meeting that took place in her office at Holyrood, Mr Hamilton found that she had not broken the code. However, he admitted he was frustrated that his report remain, uh, contains so many redactions. Surely, though, he's got a copy of this report. Surely he can just release it. A member of the public, Benjamin Harrop, used freedom of information legislation to request 
an unredacted copy of the report, with ministers refusing to comply on the basis that they did not hold the information. This was, of course, bollocks. The Information Commissioner disagreed, and after a long secrecy battle, the, court, uh, the case ended up in the Court of Session in December. In a humiliating defeat, and I remember this, because it was only like just over a month ago, uh, in a humiliating defeat, judges didn't even retire to consider their verdict and threw out the Scottish Government's case, which had cost the taxpayer £30,000. The court agreed with the Information Commissioner that their argument was wholly unrealistic. Yeah, they're saying that, uh, oh, we can't do this because blah, blah, blah. And they just went, no, that's rubbish. Re you know, it must be printed. It must be released. And they're still not releasing it. Surely somebody's got to take these people back to court and say it's contempt. And to say that it must be you know, released in full immediately. But they won't. I mean, they try their best not to, put it that way. Anyway, a number of new FOI requests were then submitted asking for a copy of Mr Hamilton's full report, including by the Scottish Express, with ministers once again refusing to release any further details. Every word that was redacted in the original report will remain redacted, officials said. Now the Commission, uh, sorry, now the Herald newspaper has appealed to David Hamilton, the Scottish Information Commissioner. He could order the Scottish Government to review the report yet again and lift some of the redactions. I believe they should all be released. What is so what is so damaging in there that they need to keep this covered up? There must be something in there that would utterly destroy the SNP. Why else would they go to this length that they're risking contempt of court rather than releasing the information? A Scottish Government spokesman said the Court of Session did not instruct the Scottish Government to release material. They said, in line with the court's judgment in December, we have reviewed the material held and responded in compliance with FOI legislation, applying statutory exemptions as appropriate. The Scottish Information Commissioner has confirmed the requirements of the decision notice have been complied with. Well, they say that. They don't want anyone knowing. They don't want the people of Scotland knowing what is going on behind the scenes. And that can mean only one thing. And that is that it's as shady as hell. The SMB administration, which is regarded as by many as highly secretive and untrustworthy, go figure, uh, said that disclosure of the evidence would likely deter individuals from providing free and frank evidence in such investigations in future. The whole point of providing free and frank evidence is that that evidence is seen in the public sphere. After all, justice is not only done, but it must be seen to be done. And if these people are not comfortable in telling the truth, then you have to wonder what they've done in the first place that makes them uncomfortable. So undoubtedly they're doing things that are not legal, which is why they are trying to cover it up. That's the only reading from this. He added, there's a credible risk that officials, particularly those in more junior grades, may feel inhibited in contributing to such investigations if they believe their evidence would be disclosed, other than through the final report prepared by independent advisers. I don't care. If they are too busy covering their ass because of things they've done, then you know that the things they've done shouldn't have been done. And that's the problem. Fire them. Tell them this. If you want to um, if you want to keep your job, this goes out. If you don't want to keep your job, we'll hide it, but you lose your job. Straight away. And then just the threat of firing them. That's it. If they are doing something that's so shady they don't want anyone to know, you fire them. It's a joke, isn't it? But anyway, will it come out? Who knows? They're going back to him, the commissioner. If he says yes, he's got the power to do it. He can override it. Um, and we can find out the truth about that awful, awful golem of a woman. I loathe her with every ounce of my being. I shall come up, though, and not let her spoil my Thursday. Yeah, I mean, there are a couple of options, as I've mentioned. Either they go back to court and get them up for contempt. That'll uh, clear a few of them out, wouldn't it? Get someone up there for contempt and give them, you know, six months in prison, something like that. You're facing prison. Oh, you know, release it then. And that'll get it. Or Hamilton himself should just take his copy, his clear copy, and just email it to the press. Email it to every news organisation. And there you go. What can they do? It's honest. 
There's nothing in there that's dishonest. The fact that they don't want it out is neither here nor there. And uh, it would be out in the public domain. I think it should be. I think it absolutely should be. And we can see what awfulness goes on with these people. And then as a result of it, maybe she'll face another police investigation. Who knows? She's certainly up to her big ears in it, isn't she? Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.